Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Louisiana Cooking and Living. If you're new to us, welcome. If you enjoy what you see here today, I ask that you hit subscribe so you can follow along and see what wonderful recipes we uh, cook together. And um, all things Louisiana, um, I have a garden that I'm started. Um, first year gardening, we have chickens, first year ch um, having the chickens. And so we're just gonna go on all kinds of adventures together. So recently we canned some chicken broth together. We boiled some chickens and I deboned them and we made some chicken broth and canned that together. So tonight I am going to take some chicken that we had cooked together. I had thawed it. These were frozen. This is the way you can um, cook a bunch of stuff ahead of time and then you can uh, use it at a later date. So we boiled the chickens up, I covered these in some broth and then also canned the chicken broth and we're gonna use some of that chicken broth today that we canned together. And so I've thawed this and I'm gonna put this in my pot here. I didn't mention we we're gonna make chicken and dumplings together today. There's two different kinds of chicken and dumplings you can make. Some people like a um, flat, almost like a pasta texture dumpling. And I prefer a fluffy biscuit texture dumpling. So I'm pouring in I guess it's about two quarts of the chicken with the broth here. And then I have a quart of chicken stock that I'm going to add to the pot. This we canned together recently. There we go. Add that on in. We're going to bring this to a boil. And then um, we're gonna stir up our dumplings as that, when, while that comes to a boil. I'm gonna put a lid on it real quick. So my quick way to make dumplings is I use Bisquick. Um, just that's why my mom always did it and so that's the way I do it. It's very easy. It's the Bisquick and some milk. Okay, so every two and a half cups of Bisquick, you're gonna use two thirds a cup of milk. I am doubling this recipe so and then um, all you do is you're going to stir it in. It almost looks like a drop biscuit batter or dough that you're making here. With this, um, when we were growing up, my dad always wanted some just little petite baby green peas with it. He, and then he would mix it in. So it was almost like he was having like a chicken pot pie. So I'm going to make some carrots and peas with this tonight. And of course we're gonna have tea with our dinner. We drink tea almost with every meal. All right, I think I'm gonna need a little bit more milk. So I'll grab that. Sometimes that's just how much humidity you have in your house. If you measured your dry ingredients exactly, that kind of thing. Just kind of eyeballed it when I poured it in here. Didn't measure exactly. All right, so that's looking good. Now we're just gonna wait for our broth and our chicken to come back to a boil and we'll drop our biscuits. Okay, our broth is coming to a boil. I'm going to add some salt here. And some black pepper. And we are going to drop these dumplings in by the spoonful. I know the broth is like a soup right now, very thin. But as these dumplings cook, the flour in them will thicken up the broth and make it almost like a gravy consistency or kind of like inside of a chicken pot pie. So we'll drop these in here.
right, now what I like to do, take my serving spoon and just go around and push them under the broth. And as these cook, they will puff up and they will thicken the broth. So I'm gonna cover them for now and I'm gonna turn my pot down. And we'll let these cook for about 20 minutes. Okay, friends, I think the chicken and dumplings are ready. It has been actually only 15 minutes, didn't take 20 minutes. Um, I did come in once, I think, and pushed them down again back under the broth. But they're ready, so here we go. They're so yummy. I know it doesn't look the most appetizing, it's just kind of blah looking, but they are so flavorful. Promised on the side here, I do have my peas and carrots. I just steamed them in some butters, all I did with them. So we're going to plate it up. And see that, I don't know if you can see the texture, it's almost like a biscuit in there. The chicken that we've cooked together. Okay, I'm gonna get some chicken here, a little bit more of the gravy. I'm making this plate for my husband. I'm gonna serve his peas and carrots here on the side. Okay, and we will test this together. Okay, so here's our plate. Um, while it's cooling off, I just want to tell you about my Dutch oven here. Um, my favorite color is purple, and for Christmas one year, my daughter gave me this for Christmas, and I will link it in the description. It's a Lodge cast iron enamel coated Dutch oven. Um, any of the utensils I use, I'll try to link them. I'll try to remember that. All right. Get a little chicken, a little bit of the dumplings. They're going to be very hot. Again, if you uh, would like to follow along, just hit subscribe and there is a little bell notification that you can touch also that you can get notified when I upload a new video. I'll try to do that every Thursday, um, have a new video out. So here we go. Mm. So comforting. I know it's summer right now, but um, I like this all year. It doesn't have to be just a wintertime food uh, for dinner. Just very comforting. Makes you just feel warm and cozy inside. I love it. Mm. Very good. So thanks for joining me today. And um, like I said, if you want to hit subscribe, you can follow along. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down in the, the, bottom, the comment box also and I will link the recipe or um, type up the recipe in the description box and link any um, kitchen equipment I used uh, to make this tonight. So thanks for joining along and we'll see you next time.